hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and this is my second video and over here we will learn how to create data in ms excel so uh, i have start i have actually created a dummy data in excel uh, before this before publishing this video and so you might know how to create a data you just need to go into any of the cells so i just tell you what is a cell and what is a row and what is a column before we move forward um, so if you see uh, a b c d these are your columns but then when you select on any of these columns you will have a lot of rows coming out so whatever you see has been selected over here is the row and when you go and click on any of this one two three four button over here and then this is all the columns which come up and whenever you select on any of the box i'll say over here this is actually your cell and your cell address is actually defined over here in that left corner if you see so right now we are into the a1 then if i move right it changes to b1 c1 d1 subsequently and if i go down it moves on to d2 d3 d4 so anywhere you go you will always know what your cell address is and it will be recorded over here okay so for ease of uh learning what i'll suggest you guys is you can get started with me onto a parallel screen if you can and just input the data uh, as I have done over here so first you can put monthly sales data or whatever and then you can put customers name and then the customer IDs and then the sales amount which can be anything and then on the dates just enter anything onto the dates and then uh, you can also have the number of items so whatever you want just add on to the number of items and you can pause this video till the time you enter this data and then play it back again after you are done so first we will learn how you can present data in excel so right now if you see the data over to the left which is this data and the data over to the right so there's quite a considerable lot of difference in between whatever both the data are so first we will learn how you can present your data properly and for that I'll first teach you one of the main keys which is your function F2. So always remember you can edit your data whenever you add to the first column and which will be like this. You can go and input it and then but if you want to go and change this data again uh, you will have to click on function F2 or F2 whatever your computer permits you otherwise you won't be able to edit this data. You will just so if I am just editing this data right now it will again replace everything and if you want to edit on this data you will have to press function F2 so that you can type in the data later on so please remember this function F2 which is a very important function before we continue so how are we going to customize this data into this way first of all remember that we always have the option to adjust the length of the rows and the columns so right now if you see a customer name is coming in half like I cannot see the n like I cannot see anything after the n of the name and in the even in the customer ID also I can only see the customer in the sales I have input the numbers but they all are coming in hash 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 so I just want things to come in a proper place so always remember we have the option of adjusting the length of our column and for our rows you can always double click on the line which is appearing in between the columns to make them adjust accordingly so we can go by single way into every column and see what the actual length of the is excel is smart enough to adjust into the length of the columns when you click over here on in between as per whatever the column data is but there's also a shortcut which you can use is when you press on this icon which is in between a and one and you just click on anywhere on the sheet in any of the borders the excel will automatically adjust itself to all the rows and columns which it should do for example i'll again make the data compressed so it will be easier for me to explain you so yeah so now again you can see i'm not able to see the numbers clearly what i'll do i'll just go over here and i'll double click on in between this line in between b and c and here you see Excel has expanded the columns to auto fit everything in its own way. There's also a shortcut button which you can use to do the same thing. Again, you have to select over here 
and then you can press on alt h o and then it gives you over here if you see an option to select whether you want to auto fit the column width or you want to auto fit whatever the row height or anything so yeah this is all about auto fit so again just for a demo purpose again if i compress everything and i click over here and alt h o i and then see it just itself automatically everything so you can keep on practicing it the shortcut is good uh, it's quite fancy also if you work it out in front of others even i was also surprised very much when i saw a colleague of mine doing it and i really found it very useful to adjust the length or the height uh, or the you know column width okay so uh, let's return to back to our table and see how we can format this table back again to the table on the right so this monthly sales data i see over here that all the headings are in bold and this customer id and also is everything is in bold so we can just select this data so how do you select the data now i am right now in customer name which is a4 and i need to select the data de what i can do is i can press on shift and then press the tab key to the right to select whichever row i want and then i can even go down to select wherever i want whichever cell i want to highlight so over here i want to be on the customer name and i want to go till the number of items so i'll just go one by one to the number of items and then i can act directly click on bold or i can even use the keyboard shortcut of control b and then it will highlight highlight my items in bold i can also i'll also do the same thing for the monthly sales data uh, i'll highlight it in bold and then even underline it so because it is the main heading of our table also what we will do is we'll try to bring the monthly sales data in between the tables so uh, for this we have this function over here merge and center so if you click on merge and center the data will automatically come in between the table so again excel is over here smart enough to know what is the actual length of the data which you are having over here and it will automatically fit the data in between up we will learn more key uh, how to uh, make the table borders or everything so again let us just select our data selection curve like i told you press on shift and then come down again and again again and again and then you can select the whole table so um first of all let me tell you one thing before we move forward is the lines which you see over here are the grid lines so if you want you can keep them or if you want you can remove them if you will print your data anywhere then obviously you will not get this grid lines so let me just show you so if i go into printing option so see you cannot see any of the data which i want to print but if i go to my other table and see then it has uh, table lines during printing so how you do this is you have an option over here in the home button which is this option so is me you can select uh, what type of borders do you want do you want a thick border do you want border in all the grid lines or anything and how we how did i create it is first of all i chose the below table from customer name to the downmost item and then i selected internal borders for all the things and then i selected on thick borders for outside data then i went over here again i selected thick borders and then i select thick borders again over here and then i'll again select this many columns and have a thick border over here so you can see we are having thick borders in wherever we need and then the thin borders also wherever the data in which we require what we'll do over here is we don't want this is very optional if you want it or not because whenever you print the data anyways you won't get any grid lines but if you want to remove the lines from here you can again select the merge and the center option one more shortcut for the merge and the center option is alt h m c so if you select over here and we press alt if you see alt button takes us to the menu option h will take us to the home and then m will take us to the merge and c is merge and center so if you select merge and center so again we don't have anything over here so the top part is almost similar in both the tables then in the below table now the sales now we have the customer name 
in the left alignment we have the customer ids coming up in number format and then we have the sales so sales is like 10000 20000 50000 mm. for better ease we want them to be separated by commas so how do we do that we one of the option is we can manually do it we can select 10 and then insert a comma and then put triple zero again or what we can do is we can select one more utility which excel provides us and that is the formatting over here how do you want the data or you can have a quick format also from over here you can select the column c and then you can just click on this comma what you say automatically your data comes in the number format and which is like comma and then even double zeros after the numbers so what you can do is you can again select over here and then these are the things two options which either allow you to input decimal point or to decrease the decimal point so what we'll do we'll decrease the decimal point even if you want to increase it you can select the left one and increase as much excel allows or like now we don't want so we'll decrease it and again bring back the normal size of the column for the date we can see again it's not in a proper alignment so we'll align the dates properly what we'll do is we'll click on d again and do a left alignment over here so this is a left alignment and then on the number of items which we see this is centrally aligned so we can click on the central alignment to align the data in that way so now you can see what our data was previously and now how it has become there is again a shortcut for all the functions that we saw for example even for the left alignment we have the shortcut so again what you can do is uh, I know in the beginning you will take some time to learn the shortcuts so uh, you can press on alt and then we know that the alignment is on the home screen on the home menu so you can select alt and then h and then the al for the alignment left or you can select the alt h and ac for the alignment center and ar for the alignment right for example if you come over here and you select alt h ac the data becomes centrally aligned and then alt h ar that sorry alt h ar the data becomes alignment towards the right so that's it on this video uh, we will learn more on how to save this data we'll explore more on the file menu in the next video and that's it thank you